Hey friends, uh, big breaking news happened today. Um, if you're out there and you have been following the developments that's going on around budget reconciliation and immigration, you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to talk about the fact that today that, that the Senate has passed the budget resolution. Okay. And what it actually means, what's next. This video is, it's a little dark. Okay. Because it is early evening here in New York where I'm located. So the quality is not going to be amazing, but nonetheless, the uh, content will be. So if you're out there tonight, join me in this live session for us to talk about what happened on Capitol Hill. Okay. A couple of days ago, we talked about the fact that uh, Senate Democrats introduced the budget recon um, reconciliation package, so to speak, that included a pathway to lawful permanent um, status for qualified immigrants. And it's a one-liner. It's a one-liner. We don't really know what they're going to do next per se, but um, it, was, it, it was very hopeful to see this in there. And they did, in fact, pass it. And um, so now they're going on, moving on to the next step. So share this video or this live session with your feed. Encourage others to join us this evening. I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, uh, immigration lawyer in New York. It's nice to see folks join in. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. Hey, Beverly, good to see you. Uh, let's let me increase this a little bit more. Uh, good to see you guys. Um, hey, Nino. Nice to see you. I'll, I'll touch on that question a little bit later in the broadcast. All right. So let's get into it, friends. Let's get into it. Um, I have uh, this little slide presentation here that summarizes things for you. So this is the latest immigration news, latest immigration news from Capitol Hill. The Senate passed the three, uh, the 3.5 trillion buzz budget resolution. Uh, by a vote of 50 to 49. And again, as I've mentioned, this creates a pathway for lawful permanent status for qualified immigrants. The qualified immigrants that they're honing in on are individuals who are dreamers who came into the United States under a certain age. Um, also people who have temporary protected status also farm workers, and then, and last but not least, essential workers. The resolution also provides some dollars for border security measures. Now, um, there, during the debate, they had some, there were some amendments that were offered, right, around immigration. And these amendments are really uh, not that meaningful. Just keep that in mind. It was just some sort of procedural thing that they had to go through. Uh, but these amendments are not binding. Okay. So here, let's go through some of the amendments that were debated. The first one was by Senator Cruz out of Texas, extending title 42 amendments indefinitely. And this did fail, uh, based on the party line vote. And under Title 42, as some of you may know, this has to do with border uh, crossing issues, uh, turning people back at the southern borders, in particular um, under public health slash COVID um, concerns, right? This was put in place by President Trump, and President Biden actually extended this. But um, anyway, this amendment failed um, by party line. Then the second amendment also failed, and what it would do is um, create an expansive criminal bar or bars for people applying for permanent uh, residency status or citizenship. That also failed. This, the next one though, did pass. Again, non-binding, but I'm sharing this with you to let you know what the issues are around the immigration um, changes that legislators are concerned about. So the third amendment uh, would to, is to establish strict criminal bars for those who would otherwise qualify for legal status. The next one also passed uh, to prohibit the use of funds for the transportation of immigrants who do not have a negative COVID test. Um, and then, uh, then the last one um, passed as well to establish a deficit neutral fund relating to immigration enforcement and addressing the humanitarian crisis at the southern 
border. Now, uh, what's next? Okay, what is next? Um, as I mentioned on Monday or in my last video, the committees are now tasked with drafting legislation that would create the programs to tell us who this will help, uh, what the criteria are for eligibility and all of that. And so the, the Senate Judiciary Committee in particular is tasked with creating the legislation around immigration programs. Um, the House is, on, re is at, on recess right now. Uh, they return August 23rd, uh, at which point uh, they will consider the budget uh, resolution. That's the last read of things that I've seen in the press. And then, as I mentioned in my last video, September 15th is the committee deadline, is the committee deadline by which they need to get um, all legislation done by then. Now, what are the hurdles, right? Because for something as big as this, obviously there are certain things that um, challenges, right? Challenges to the process. The first big hurdle that's coming up is the Senate parliamentarian still need to review this, okay? And her role really comes, uh, kicks in when the legislation has been uh, drafted. What she's going to do is she's going to look for any language that seems to make some sort of regulatory initiative or changes to our regula uh, regulatory system rather than fiscal, right? Because the budget resolution or the budget reconciliation process is all about uh, fiscal changes, right? Not policy changes or anything that's regulatory. So she's going to be looking for that with the immigration workup, okay? So I want you to still keep that in mind, although this development is a very positive one from the standpoint of immigration, there are other things about it that are not amazing, that are not related to immigration, so it's one of those things, right? But with respect to immigration, it's a positive first step, okay? So the parliamentarian will weigh in on this come September, okay? Then the second hurdle that this faces is there are two Democrats, Sen Senate Democrats who are very moderate, and although they supported the budget resolution, they supported moving it forward, they are not yet on board with the, you know, like everything that's in it, including the size, the amount, you know, it's a, you know, it's a lot of money. And so we have to see um, after the legislation and everything is drafted and think more negotiations happen among the Democrats, whether these two Senate uh, moderate Democrats will support the final bill. Um, and then just a reminder, guys, all Senate Democrats must support the final bill in order for this to go through. All right. So, um, so that's the latest there. And so again, just a reminder how to reach out to us if you're, um, in an immigration process and you need guidance. Uh, you could tell that it's really late and I'm tired because that's how I'm pitching our service services. Oh, if you need help, just reach out. Right. But in all serious, uh, uh, seriously though, contact us at mcbeanlaw.com to start, uh, uh, the process to meet with us, to think about your case and how to resolve your issue. Or you may call us at 516-866-3900 Monday through Friday. Uh, between 9 and 6 p.m., 9 a.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Eastern. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to get notice of my videos each week. Now, I see other, uh, so some questions are coming in about um, some things related to this news and other things that are not related to it. Um, so essential workers are, I have a video um, from a few months ago that talked about essential workers uh, and how they're defining it. Now we have to see how the Senate Judiciary Committee defines essential workers, all right? Because again, remember that um, Senator uh, Padilla out of California has a very broad um, uh, legislation pending right now Citizenship for Essential Workers Act, something like that, um, that provides a very broad, broad list, 
of essential workers. Will they go with that? I don't know, maybe, because that framework is already created. Um, so say the number again, the number is, um, the number to our office is 516-866-3900. It's also in the bottom of this video, so you could get, get it there as well, okay? Um, now let's see. Um, I don't have any update about uh, Liberia or Liberian, um, the 11 million. Okay. So the 11 million, um, so there is so, some overlap guys. There is some overlap with respect to, um, what was talked about at the beginning of the year with the lawful prospective immigrants, uh, status, which is created under the U S citizenship act, which is the big Biden bill that Senator Menendez introduced. And so, um, that has not moved that that's still there on Capitol Hill zero movement with respect to that. But, um, because that bill is very aggressive and some Democrats don't even support it. But in any event, there are, there is some overlap. People who are considered dreamers or essential workers do fall into that 11 million as well. So, um, we'll have to see how, how they uh, deal with that. BB, it is really nice to see you here. Thank you so much for um, joining us. Uh, with respect to the backlog, we're still, the State Department is still working its way through this awful backlog. Um, I'm not sure if that's the backlog you're referring to, Castro, or um, whether you're referring to a different um, backlog. There's backlog in the criminal, in the immigration court system, uh, backlog with asylum, so, so many backlog issues throughout the entire immigration system. Um, uh, let's see. So someone is asking about the uh, prospective immigrant status. Um, this is what I'm describing tonight that is included in that that is being um, moved forward on Capitol Hill is not the lawful prospective immigrant status. That is a completely different status created under the U S citizenship act. And in order to really create that status, immigration reform or changes to the law is really necessary. And that's something that they cannot accomplish through the budget reconciliation process. Okay. So, um, okay. So I'm going to end the broadcast now. Don't want to keep this, keep you guys too long. And I'm losing some natural light here in front of me, but guys, again, um, very positive development. The Senate passed the budget resolution, um, which includes the one liner that says that the Senate judiciary committee must create a le legislation that would allow, um, people to have a lawful permanent status qualified immigrants. The Senate Judiciary Committee will develop that legislation by the 15th of September to tell us who those qualified immigrants are and, um, and, uh, and how, uh, you may go ahead and apply for it. Now the whole applying, applying for this kind of thing will come after it's agreed to on um, both the house and the Senate side and um, the application is made available. So you still got to be a little patient, guys. It's not going to happen overnight. So continue to be patient, but this is huge. This is a very big thing. So share this video with other people. Thank you so much for being with me at the end of the workday here. And I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.